Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Rambles. Wednesday Wambles. I can't even say it anymore. Um, and uh, it's a special edition because I'm coming to you from my um, laundry room again. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made a video here, um, but it's been too cold. And so I've had to like just seek out other times to do videos. Um, yeah, so let's chit-chat about what's going on. I don't, this coloring is so bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> my arms, my saggy skin, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so, I, so, today I went, uh, Oz and I were home most of the morning, and then, um, closer to lunch, we ran out, we had to do a few errands, and then, um, we actually went to Brianna's house, and I ran with her. We, He and I ran with her to Union City for a little while. And so, um, she had some makeup on, and I felt pressure on makeup on. So, I ran to her bathroom and put her mascara on. And, I don't know, if, I mean, I guess you can see it, but, like, I have to be careful about different kinds, types of mascara because it, like, just makes my under eyes black by the end of the day. Anyways. So, um, Wednesday wambles. Here we go. Um, so, t today... Um, is, will be day three of my lady time, which means I start Clomid today. I'll do it, um, before bedtime. Um, <clears throat> tonight, you take that for five days. Yes. I think. Maybe it's three through five. Day three through five. I don't know, guys. It's been so long since I've taken it. I, honestly, I mean this. I don't remember. I remember feeling crazy that last time I took it. Sorry, my leg is itching. Um, yeah, so I'll start it on day three. I guess I need to get that prescription and look at it before I start it tomorrow. Uh, I mean, oh, sorry, today. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, and I'll start that. And then on day 21, which acts actually a Sunday, that's totally my luck. Um, I'm supposed to have blood work done. So, I will go the following Monday to have that done. Um, yeah. So, and we'll see. But, the, I mean, if I did ovulate, and I ovulated on their terms, that number's going to be off just because I'm going to be a day behind um, actually having the testing done. But, last time, um, it was off anyway. So, um yeah, there's that. Um, yesterday, we t I spent my birthday money and took my son, because we don't have um, dental insurance on him, to the dentist. He does, in fact, have um, two cavities right here in between his front two teeth. Um, and then she is super nice. Um, it was a female. She was really nice, really sweet. Didn't make me feel uncomfortable at all. But, you know, she immediately was like... Here's some things. Do you put him to bed with milk or juice? No. Never have. Never have. Never have. Um, I, she doesn't know this about me. It turns out her mom was an early intervention teacher, though, uh, because we discussed that. Um, so, I said, you know, I was an early intervention teacher for 10 years, and there was just certain things that I saw, struggles with my children that I saw in my caseload through the years. That was one thing we never, ever, 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 ever did was put him to bed with a bottle or a sippy cup. We've just never done that. Um, and then she asked me something else about brushing. I said, yes, ma'am. We always brush his teeth. She said, do you do it twice a day? I said, no. I said, sometimes. I said, most of the time, it's just once a day. Every now and then, it's twice a day. Um, she, you know, recommended we do twice a day. So I'm going to start brushing before nap um, and then, you know, before dinner if we're home. And then um, what else? Pretty well, I knew what she was going to ask me, so I started jumping the gun. And I start saying, you know, he's not a great eater. His diet is um, not terrible. He doesn't just eat junk food. He just doesn't eat. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I said, you know, I said he really doesn't get a lot of candy. Um, he, he will occasionally get fruit snacks. We don't get those a lot. Um, matter of fact, in October, he got some chocolate and stuff just because it was Halloween and we had it in the house. But really, overall, he, well, he just he doesn't eat a lot of junk food. We just don't. Um, but really, he doesn't eat a lot of anything. Um, he really doesn't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables either. So, uh, again, he doesn't eat a lot of anything. 
And, you know, I told her about the antibiotics, and she said, well, you know, that could be it. And then she said, you know, sometimes kids just get cavities. And um, I haven't always had the best teeth either. Uh, you know, I've always had cavities here and there, and still do, although I think I have had more cavities since weight loss surgery um, than I can remember having as a child, and I swear that's due to the acid reflux. Um, and it could just be, you know, vitam some vitamin deficiencies and things that I've gone through. Um, not major deficiencies, but just some small ones um, since having weight loss surgery. And... Uh, you know, Ed didn't have great teeth. And my mom has had false teeth since she was 13. Um, I d definitely don't think in today's world they would do that. But at the time, you know, they didn't have, they felt like they didn't have any other choice but to pull all her teeth. So, um, great teeth don't necessarily run in our family. Um, and then my mom mentioned this to me, and I didn't even think to tell her this. We have well water, um, which may be our biggest issue. Uh, the doctor did give us um, fluoride drops I'm supposed to be giving him daily, but I quit giving him those pretty early on um, because I had read, Miss Google here, had read um, where it could cause some, um, it was causing some kids not to be as smart. It was affecting some kids, um, what is the right word I'm thinking? I don't know, anyways, some deficiencies, some real learning deficiencies, and so I quit giving that to him, so maybe that's my fault. Um, either way, it makes you feel like a crappy parent, and um, I. so we found out how much the um, it would be to get the cavities filled, and I didn't book an appointment yesterday. I came home. I talked to Ed about it. He has some Christmas money that he's been saving up from like the last three years. Uh, and he said for me to go ahead and make that appointment. So I did. I called today and made the appointment. And we're having that done at the end of February because I wanted to do this particular um, dentist that we saw, the female that we saw. Um, each cavity will be 140 to fill with a $75 um, sedation fee because he is so young. She gave me the option, but she said she really recommended that. I give him a little sedation. They um, put him under, they monitor his heart rate, they monitor his blood pressure and his oxygen the entire time. They give him gas, and then, um, yeah, so they sort of put him under to um, fill the cavities. But she said the good thing is, she said he may cry and fuss a little, but the positive thing is, is he won't remember any of it. And she said he would be pretty lethargic the rest of the day, and the nitrous oxide will make you feel funny, and... Yada, 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 yada. So, I got to be honest. I am super upset about that and really hate that we have to do that. Um, I do think the sedation is the best way to go for him. Let me know down below if you guys have had experience with that in children especially or personal adult experience. Um, yeah. So, I'm actually pretty upset about that. And I just feel like a super winning mom. Hmm. I'm sure it won't be the first or the last time I feel like a loser mom, but... It is what it is. Um, weight loss surgery stuff. I am going to be honest. I have struggled the last couple days. Uh, today's. So, um, yeah, so today's just Wednesday. So, I struggled some on Monday. Not a lot. Um, and by struggle, I mean I decided I wasn't going to do dairy. And I did, did dairy-free um, all day. I didn't have any dairy until dinner. And my dad had taken us to IHOP. And I got a bacon and cheese avocado omelet. Um, I have read some articles in the past that talked about IHOPs. They they use um, something to make their pancake batter or something to make their omelet sluffier. I don't know. I didn't do any of the research. So my carbs may have actually been up that day. I don't know. But I wasn't doing dairy. I did that day. Um, and then Tuesday... Um, I did have a I did have a piece of cheese at lunch. I said I wasn't going to do dairy. Um, and then, really, that's the only dairy I had all day, I think. I had ham and zucchini and broccoli and butter, um, like noodle stuff for dinner. And I did have a few bites of a biscuit. Why? I don't know. Um, I can, <laughs> I can actually tell you when it happened. My kid didn't want to eat, 
dinner, which was fun. We go through this a lot. We don't eat dinner a lot. Um, but we've gotten where we shut the TV off. If This is if Ed is home. Um, we shut the TV off, and then um, we actually sort of use dinner time as a family type time. Um, we shut the TV off, and he doesn't have to sit at the table and eat dinner, but he has to come to the table and pray with us. And if he chooses after the prayer not to eat, he's more than welcome to get down. So he comes to the table, he's screaming, he's having this fit. Um, he calms down for the prayer, and then he sits in his chair for a second, and, you know, we're like, oh, you want to eat this, you want to eat this? Oh, no, no, no. I'm like, okay, are you all done? Yes. He gets down. He comes into the room, and he asks for, I think, a popsicle. And we're like, no, buddy, you have to come to the table. You have to eat dinner with Mom and Dad um, if you want a popsicle. Total meltdown. Screamed and screamed and screamed for the longest time. Finally, my husband says, son, that's enough. And Ed really typically doesn't say anything. Um, and so then um, he gets up. He's happy again. He goes to the living room. He comes back in and he asks for the TV. And I tell him, you know, we're not going to turn the TV on right now. We're having dinner. Mom and Dad are having dinner. When we're done, you know, since you're done, when we're done eating, we will turn the TV back on and resume, you know, our regular routine. I didn't say all of that in those terms to him, but anyways, um, which in turn caused another major meltdown. In the end of the night, the kid ends up eating his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, <laughs> and, um, he did get a popsicle. So it ended up working out for the best. Oh my goodness. This video is 12 minutes. I'm really sorry guys. And I've really wambled about nothing. Um, starting today, I am vlogging every day in the month of February. That's my goal. Um, let me know down below if there's something specific that you want to see. Um, I can tell you off the top of my head right now, my plans are to do, um, some full day videos of eating, um, as many as possible. Just some random food videos, my grocery hauls that I normally do. Um, <laughs> and they're going to be very budgeted, let me tell you. Um, especially since we have $355 cavity bill at the end of the month. Um, oh, but we get 10% off that because we don't have insurance. Uh, what else? Um, and I may do some just daily, quickly vlogging. I don't know. I can't decide what I'm going to do. So let me know down below if there's something specific that you want to see. And, um, or if you guys have questions, I didn't forget in April... Coming up closer to my um, five-year surge anniversary. Five-year surge anniversary. I am gonna do a Q and A, and I also need. I maybe I'll wait for tomorrow's video. I am setting some goals for my five-year surge anniversary, and um, before that to hit. So yeah, stay tuned, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas. Um, what can I call it in February? Something to do with love. Love miss? Love miss? Because it's February. Okay. Did anybody else just think cakes and pies? Cakes and pies. Okay. It's been a long time since I've watched movies. I was going to say I watch too much TV. I really don't. I don't even know the last time I sat down and watched any TV. I really wanted to watch um, my big, fast, fabulous, my big, fat, fabulous life tonight. Because uh, last week I saw where she announced that she was pregnant. So I'm really sad because I really want to see that. But we don't have TV. So, yeah. Anywho. Okay, guys. <laughs> see you later. Bye.